वेलकम बैक टू लर्न बाय राहुल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बग और डिफेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल इट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम टेक्निकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो बिफोर टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज बग और डिफेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल फर्स्टली वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डिफेक्ट सो डिफेक्ट इज लाइक इफ अवर सॉफ्टवेयर इज नॉट वर्किंग एज पर अवर कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड डिफेक्ट सो लेट मी टेक अ वेरी good a practical example so you can easily understand what is exactly the defects suppose if uh, i want to log in in the gmail application okay so firstly we enter the e email id or phone number okay then click on next button suppose we have the requirement like the login features of gmail application and if the next button is not appearing okay so this is called what defects right now it is showing but after the development if next button is not showing or it is disable so on that time we can say it is a defects why because the customer requirement is log in to the application with the help of the correct username and password then click on the next and it is logged in right so if it is not available so this is what defects now we understand what is bug defect life cycle so if any bug come then it is assigned to a new or posted for the first time it is assigned a status as new then the next is assigned once the bug is posted by the tester the lead of the tester approve the bug and assign the bug to the developer team okay then the third is open the developer start analyzing and work on the defect fix then next fixed when a developer makes a necessary code change and verify the change he or she can make bug status as fixed if the bug is fixed then the tester test that particular defect or bug and retest it and ensure that it is working fine or not okay so in the retest tester does the retesting of the code at this stage to check whether the defect is fixed by the developer or not and changes the status to retest we verify the uh, like the tester retest the bug after it got fixed by the developer if there is no bug detected in the software then the bug is fixed and the status assigned to verified or we can say if the bug persists even after the developer has fixed the bug the tester change the status to reopen once again the bug goes through the life cycle so again the developer assigned and it uh, again checked it it is not resolved then it is the status again goes to the open and then again uh, he change the status as fixed then again the software test that to ensure that still it is working fine or not okay so after the assign there may be three types of condition suppose it may be the deferred so what is the exactly mean of the deferred if the present bug is not of a prime priority and if it is the expected to get fixed in the next release then status deferred is assigned to such works okay the next is rejected if the developer feel the defect is not a genuine defect then it change the defect to rejected and the third stage may be like the duplicate if the defect is repeated twice or the defect correspond to the same concept of the bug the status is changed to duplicate with the help of this diagram we can easily understand what is happening in this the particular the defect life cycle the tester find a defect status okay it's called new then the development project manager will analyze that defect then we verify the is it a valid defect no the status rejected okay then if yes then is it in a scope no if no then it is deferred if yes then it is 
already raised by then it is status as and if no the developer start fixing the code then status in progress then code fix then status is fixed status fixed then the tester retains the code then it is passed the test passed then yes it is closed no the status again it is reopen so this is all about bug life cycle and if you have any query you can contact back to me or a comment below section and if you like this video you can subscribe my channel thank you